हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी हैंगआउट चिल्ड्रन व्हाट यू कैन सी इन माय हैंड इट इज अ बैंगल यस सो चिल्ड्रन टेल मी इन व्हिच शेप डज द बैंगल इज ओके इट हैज सर्कुलर शेप और वी कैन से राउंड शेप यस so round shape is called a circle do you know the circle also has various types and do you know how to draw a circle if not then today i am going to teach you a new chapter from a fifth standard mathematics book chapter 7 circle Before learning how to draw a circle I just want to tell you all the main important points of the circle okay so here i have drawn one circle for you so tell me which is the meet point here yes it is the point where we are drawing a circle is the meet point of the circle so i am giving the name for that meet point that is p from the point p if we draw the line then that line is called a radius and give them a name letter m okay so the segment or we can say line joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called a radius of the circle in this figure p is the center of the circle while m is the point on the circle so pm is the radius of the circle children we can draw radius not only one but so many times so one circle has many radius and they are all of the same length okay after drawing a radius with the meet point on the circle if we extend this line to another side then it will become a diameter and give them a name l so a line passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter okay in this figure you can see the line lm passing through the center p so the line lm is the diameter of the circle we can draw so many diameter on the circle we can draw like this this way okay we can draw any line but it should pass the meet point clear now here again i have drawn a circle and i have drawn one line but this line is not passing through a meet point nor it's joining the center of the circle yes this is a line joining any two points on a circle is called a chord so here mn is a chord of the circle we can draw chord anywhere on the circle but it should join the two points on the circle clear now let's see whether you have understood the concept of radius chord and diameter okay here one diagram is given the center of the circle given below is o there are other points and line segments given in the diagram we have to find the radius chords and diameter from the diagram and write the names in the box just look at this diagram 
the center point is O. Okay, so here they have told us to find out the radius first. So what is radius? The segment joining the center to any point on the circle is called the radius. So your center point is O. So radius will be segment OP. segment om segment os segment ot okay now let's find out diameters so here what is diameter diameter is the chord or line passing through the center of the circle so in the diagram which line passes through the center of the circle? That is segment PS and segment MT. Next is chord. So here, what is chord? The segment joining any two point on a circle is called the chord of a circle yes so here we have to see the line or segment which touches the two points on the circle so the segment like nm segment ps segment mt are the chords Clear children? Now let's learn how to draw a circle using a compass. What is compass? The compass is an instrument in the compass box is used to draw a circle. One arm of the compass has a metal point while the another arm has a holder to fix a pencil. Okay, clear? Now I'll just show you how to draw a circle. Suppose we want to draw a circle with radius of 5 cm. Okay, first fix a pencil of proper length in the holder. Then keep the metal end and the point of the pencil at the same level. Using a ruler, take the distance 5 cm between the metal end and the point of the pencil to draw the circle. Then take a point P on the paper and place the metal point end on it. Turn the pencil point on the paper around it. Then the figure formed is a circle center P with radius 5 cm. So draw the line from the center to the end of the circle and write down five centimeter now let's move to problem set 28 problem set 28 first question draw the circles of the given radius first one is two centimeter so first to draw the circle with radius two centimeter Take a ruler, then take a distance that is 2 cm with the compass. And then take a point Q on the paper and place the metal point end on it. Then turn the pencil point on the paper around it. 
then you will get the circle with the radius 2 cm. So, draw the line from the center that is Q to the end of the circle and give that end point as point R and write down 2 cm. Second one is 4 cm. Now to draw the circle with radius 4 cm, take a ruler with the help of the compass, take the distance and then take a point and name that point as I on the paper and place the metal point end on it. Turn the pencil point on the paper around it and then circle will form. After forming the circle, draw the line from the center of the circle to the end of the circle. Okay, and give that end point as point J and write down 4 cm. Third one, 3 cm. To draw the circle with radius 3 cm, take the ruler, take the distance of 3 cm with the help of a compass and then take a point C on the paper and place the metal point end on it. Turn the pencil point on the paper around it. Then you will get the circle. Okay, so draw the line from the center to the end of the circle and write down 3 cm. Now let's move to question number 2. Draw a circle of any radius. Show one diameter, one radius and one chord in that circle. Here it is said that we have to draw one circle and we have to show one diameter, radius and one chord in that circle. Okay, so first we have to draw one circle. So take a compass, take the radius of any number. Okay, so take the midpoint on the paper. I have taken the point C and draw the circle. Okay, so here I'll just draw the radius from the center of the midpoint that is C. Draw the line and then give the name as point P. Then we have to draw the diameter. Okay, so to draw the diameter just draw the line which passes the midpoint point and giving the name as A and B. Then afterwards they have told us to find out the chord. Here I am drawing the chord that is touching the end point of the circle. Touching the two end point of the circle. So here anywhere you can draw the chord. And giving the name as X and Y. Okay, so to write the answer, we have to write in the figure CP is the radius AB is the diameter X, Y is the chord. Clear children? So children, I hope you must have understood problem set and what is chord, diameter and radius and how to draw the circle. So keep practicing and learning. Till then, thank you and goodbye.